I actually don't even want to set this down. Oh, wow. What's going on guys, Roll King Sino here bringing you another episode of the Dirty Left Shoe Chronicles. Yiddy! Before I go any further, it was only appropriate that I wear my New York Rex Rider shirt. This is actually a special episode because I'll be doing an unboxing of a product that I received from a company called Jet Coast Motorsports. Big shout out Jet Coast Motorsports out of Canada for sending out this visor. I'll let you know my initial thoughts and also we'll be comparing it to the stock visor. So we'll do some comparison. It's not the same visor guys. It's not the same windscreen that I currently have on my T-Rex. Uh, I have a taller windscreen on my T-Rex and I'll get to that part and we'll talk a little bit about that once we do the installation of this visor. Just for general purposes of what most people um, have as OEM on their T-Rex, I'm going to be comparing it to the stock wind visor, which I still have my old stock one right here. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and cut into this thing and see what we got. They take this thing up pretty good, um, so I don't imagine it would be any issues with it by being a windscreen because it's packaged very, very well. Looks like the windscreen is recessed inside this cardboard, which is smart to protect it. And it has a film over it as well. Feels nice and sturdy, guys, offhand. Um, the stock one, you know, feels sturdy for what it is. This also has, again, the film on it right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel the film off. This is first impressions, guys. Like, I'm just literally looking at this with you guys. And the only thing that I did receive on this windscreen um, is instructions on how to keep it clean, uh, which is just with some uh, a soft cloth, like a microfiber cloth and uh, soapy water. No uh, Windex or anything like that. Um, to keep swirls and things like that to a minimum. So look, let, let me get a measurement real quick. Because I actually don't even want to set this down. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> That's clean right there. And I don't think in any way, shape, or form were they trying to sugarcoat this thing for me outside of uh, just trying to present the best product um, that they had to offer as possible, guys. Let me show you something. And I did not expect this. Can the camera see that? That's their company logo. Jet Coast Motorsports Canada. And look what else they put there, guys. <laughs> wow. I have my other Road King Sino decal on my other windscreen, the taller windscreen. It's just a decal. Um, it's not etched in. This is not a decal at all. It is etched into the windscreen, guys. And even their company logo, like, this thing looks amazing, man. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but this thing looks amazing. And off break, I can tell you this, um, like, beveled edge. I'm not sure if I would call it beveled, but angled. Just the finish on it alone, man, it's, it's clean. And it's these kind of small things um, that matter on a T-Rex in my opinion when uh, someone is creating a product um, that's basically just an improved version of you know a stock or OEM product um, that goes all across the board when it comes to motorsports in general um, when it comes to automobiles and everything else too if you're going to create a product the key is to make the product better than than the original you know piece that it comes with so to speak let me go ahead and finish opening this, guys, but I feel like I need some microfiber cloths to even lay this thing on, guys. 
Hold on, let, let me do that just because I didn't I didn't expect this. I'm just being honest. Like I did not expect this thing to be this clean. So let me just grab some microfiber cloth cloths. Now it's got a few prints on it. But guys, this thing is amazing. And understand this. This is uh obviously you know the same material like a plexiglass type material. I can't say exactly the, the type of um plastic it is but it looks like glass like offhand I'll tell you this looks like glass not to say that this probably didn't look good when it was new guys um just to be honest if you guys are looking for quality uh, brand new these are okay I'm sure um mine obviously scratched up a lot of years with it um this that and the third but in comparison to this it's no contest <laughs> and again I'm not required to say any of this but for my guys out there for my retro riders out there who are looking for a clean piece just a clean piece to really sew up the look of their um, T-Rex whether it's stock or they just have a few uh, aftermarket parts on there but they just like a nice clean piece to complement everything from an aesthetic point of view from a looks point of view this thing is clean guys Let's measure, see how thick it is. Stock windscreen is right at four millimeters. So this stock one is right at four millimeters. Um, they pretty much seem like they have the same amount of weight and durability as far as, you know, they don't really feel too flimsy uh, with a break or anything like that. But the finish on this is very just cut and dry. You can see where the cut was made. It's no, it's the edges are kind of rounded, but they're definitely not a uh, completely smooth finish edge like you get with this right here. Like, I'm scared to even hold this thing, man. With this one, looks like it's the same thickness as the OEM. So, it's about 4 millimeters as well. Um, but it's just a different, it's a different beast. Uh, the tint on it is a lot different. This has more like a brownish tint. This has like more of a smoked darker tint if you got those set of Prada shades or Versace shades and you see how clean those lenses are um in the tone of them this definitely screams quality in my opinion there's plenty of uh transparency there you can see clean through it obviously it's light outside right now but you can see clean through it uh it's just again a smoked um color versus this more of a brownish uh, color even these round edges it looks like it's really a finished cut and it looked like it's actually polished on there they really took the time and effort um, on these edges it's just a whole totally different type of windscreen in comparison to the OEM so it's those small things in my opinion that really makes this screen uh, more elite than the stock screen that comes with it and I get it I do get it from Campania like the idea wasn't oh, okay let me have the most quality piece as far as a windscreen or whatnot but understand with any of these motorsports and any of these things out here any of these toys it's always going to be a market for aftermarket parts and that's where guys like um, Jet Coast Motorsports come in and they take these things and they they, they take what's already there and they perfect them and um give uh give us the quality that we want to add to these already amazing machines the way this edge comes out to you know an angle so to speak it's a possibility it might change the visibility in a good way uh meaning that it might be more visible that's what i'm thinking this smoke lens tent it just it's i think it's going to really go well with my rex and it in my opinion it makes this overall look a lot more classier um, than this than this brown tent. Big shout out to Jet Coast Motorsports. Uh, you can check out their Instagram, which is Jet Coast Motorsports. I have their Instagram listed in the description. Let me know in the comment section below what you think so far, guys. Um, we'll get this thing mounted and go from there.
All right, guys, that about wraps it up. Let me know what you think about this new windscreen. I think it's a keeper personally. I plan on keeping this one on there. If you haven't done so already, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Most of all, share this video. I appreciate the love and support from all you guys. Big shout out to my Rex family out there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Anybody who's out there who's doing any type of creating any type of products for the T-Rex, any companies out there that's creating any type of products for the T-Rex, feel free to shoot me a message. Um, if you do have something you would like to be reviewed, and I will definitely give it a shot and let you know what I think. I'll catch you guys in the next one.